Yeah, you suck. How would you feel if someone sent you this the moment you started playing a game? What a jerk! I was frustrated. This guy had no right to put me down like this! I'm Kei Tatara, and I love playing games. I usually turn on my computer to play online games. They become my hobby. I have to admit, my sleep deprivation comes from staying up late gaming. I'm just glad I don't have school since I'm on summer break right now. This guy always tries to pick a fight with me. I had to write something, so... You just got lucky. You're pathetic for gloating about nothing. I know, I'm pathetic too. Your comeback suck too, I can tell you're a loser. Who are you calling a loser virgin? Wow, wasn't asking for that kind of information. What a dirtbag. He always gets on my nerves. The player I'm talking to right now, Natsuki, is one of my online friends. We've been playing with each other for a long time now. Despite our conversation, we like the same things, and it's fun to talk to him. Every time one of us starts something new, the other will join. That's how close we've become. I didn't expect anything less from you, loser. He needs to know good friends stay good to each other. You're just as much of a loser, FYI! Me? No, you're wrong. Don't you dare think I'm the same. It's rude. He should look up the definition of rude. His name would definitely be at the top. Shut up! You're a loser and you know it! Oh, so you think you know who I am now? Why don't we meet up and you'll see how different we are? <laughs> oh. A week after our conversation? So, I can't believe things turned out like this. Today, I'm meeting Natsuki in person for the first time. Guess I brought it on myself, labeling Natsuki as a loser. Somehow, the conversation led to an offline meetup, and here I am. Just to be clear, Natsuki isn't his actual name. It's just used inside the game. I use my real name since it's too much work to come up with a new one. But I guess this is a good thing for both of us. I've always wanted to meet Natsuki. Considering how long we've been friends, I'm amazed we haven't had the chance to meet in person. Excuse me? I was deep in thought when somebody came up from behind me. Whoa, look how pretty she is. She was wearing a hat, but I could still tell how beautiful her features were. She had long black hair down to her hips, and her pretty face stood out since she was wearing boyish clothes. Not to mention I could see a glimpse of her midriff, which was just amazing. <clears throat> anyway, seeing how she picked me out of the crowd to come talk to, she probably wants to hit on me. No, I don't! What do I do? Maybe I should reschedule my meetup to another day. Hey, listen to me! Seriously? Overconfident much? How rude. If I had even a bit of confidence, I'd be a party boy by now. Anyway, now I'm sure. You're Kay, aren't you? How do you know my name? I couldn't believe it. My first stalker. I can't believe that a pretty girl like her would be stalking me. Oh no, I'm in a pickle. <laughs> um, it's me. Huh? I'm Natsuki. We made plans to meet up today, remember? I see. This is a funny prank. Look, you shouldn't joke around like that. I don't know how you found out about our meetup, but Natsuki is a guy. And you're not a guy. What? The guy I'm about to meet is this loser introvert who likes to pick fights with me. There's no way a pretty girl like you... Ugh. Ow! How dare you call me a loser introvert? You're the loser with a delusional disorder! Oh, okay, I see now. I heard you. And I now know that you are Natsuki for sure. My ass. My ass is in pain. I can't believe it. I never imagined you would turn out to be a girl. And she's so pretty. I'm getting nervous. Am I sweating? Guess it never came up. So, what do you think? What do I think about what? Look at me. I do not look like a loser. Who's overconfident now? But man, would you guys look at her breasts? They're so perfectly perky. <coughs> Oops. Hmm. I'd say 83. Why am I an 83, you idiot? Please don't step on my foot. Anyways, Kay, you are just... Yeah. Do you like how handsome I am? Exactly how I imagined you. A loser. I will not punch a girl. I mean, a girl comes up to you on the street and you immediately think she's trying to hit on you. 
Think about it. You're such an idiot. It's not my fault. I didn't know that Natsuki would be a girl, you know. I'm sure everybody at the scene now knows how inexperienced you are with girls. Oh, I recorded that embarrassing conversation, by the way. Wait, what are you going to use that recording for? I just know she's going to use it to blackmail me. So, is there anything you want to do? I think we can start by erasing the conversation from your phone. We're not talking about that anymore. We're not? We still have a lot of time. I didn't come here just to show you that I'm not a loser introvert. But, but, but that would mean... We're on a date? Idiot. But hanging out alone with a girl would be... You're beyond saving. <laughs> you really are a loser. I'm relieved to see you're exactly how I thought you would be. You picking a fight with me? <laughs> I can't get enough of your pathetic lines. Come on, give me some time. Seriously, you're getting on my nerves. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. I just got excited because you're so you. <laughs> excited? Uh-huh, I get it. She's a sadistic freak who likes to pick on people. We finally got to meet in person. Let's go have some fun. Just like we always do online. I was seriously considering cutting ties with her. But it goes against nature to say no to such a pretty girl. We ended up having a great day together. She kept picking on me, and that really got me frustrated at times. But we liked the same things, and I felt comfortable around her. If I have to be entirely honest, I had a blast. I will never tell her to her face. But I also enjoyed walking around with a physically attractive girl by my side. I can't get over how pretty she was. Today will be forever precious to me. Especially since I've never gone out with a girl. I probably would have fallen for her instantly if I didn't know what she was like on the inside. Hmm? Just then, my phone rang. I looked at the caller, and to my surprise, it was Natsuki! Hello? Are you going to ask me to go fight the boss enemy with you? No, let's go on a date. <gasps> <laughs> Your heart just kept to beat imagining a date with me. It did, didn't it? I couldn't stand her, so I hung up. My phone immediately started ringing again. Why did you hang up on me? Well, there was no reason not to. I don't have time to have ridiculous conversations. Oh, come on. I just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out. What? We just hung out yesterday. We're on summer break, but we still have homework and stuff to do, you know? Jeez, you're a loser and a nerd. Please? You get to go out with a pretty girl again. Shouldn't you be thrilled? <laughs> you're so full of yourself. You see, I'm not the type of guy who is easily manipulated by pretty girls like you. <laughs> I thought you weren't the type to get manipulated. Well, I was sure I wasn't until I met you. So we ended up hanging out two days in a row. What is it about a girl's voice? It feels like I'm listening to something magical. Even if the voice belongs to Natsuki. I was sure you would come, I just knew it. Damn it! stop pointing your finger at me! So what did you want to do so badly today? What do we always do when we have fun? We're not at home, so we can't. <laughs> we don't have to be at home to do what we do. Come on, let's play games! Are you being serious? Huh? Totally serious, why not? We love games! Yeah, but did we have to come to an internet cafe and get a private room just for this? Natsuki was right behind me. I could feel her body every time I squirmed. She was too close. My heart wouldn't stop beating fast. Ah, that's right. Forgot you never sat so close to a girl. Oops, it slipped my mind. You know, your comment just brought me back to reality. Thanks. I reminded myself that she was Natsuki. I shouldn't get tricked by her pretty face. So what game do you want to play? You're so going down. Hey, before I forget, how old are you? I'm a junior in high school. Oh, then we're in the same grade. I've never seen her at school, which means she goes to a different one. I would have noticed her if she was in my grade. I bet you've got boys lined up to talk to you. That... was totally out of the blue. 
Well, it just came to mind. You're annoying, but you seem to be the type to have a lot of friends. Plus, you have a pretty face. Why wouldn't you be popular? I found myself imagining how Natsuki would be in high school. Of course. I'm different from you. I'm popular. But being popular isn't always great as it seems. That's a line I could never say. Well, I've never told anybody this, but being popular isn't nice at all. The way guys look at me, it doesn't feel nice at all. I'm friendly so they think they can say whatever they want to me. Get bothered every day, getting asked out by random guys. And people keep asking me why I don't have a boyfriend. That's annoying. I know, right? <sighs> I don't want to date just anyone. I need somebody I get along with. The hardships of being popular. I gotta admit, I'm jealous. What? You're supposed to side with me here. Where's the support? You're so obviously desperate for a girlfriend. Of course I want a girlfriend. I've lived my whole life lonely and lacking love. Why are you yelling? Your loneliness is not my fault. Any sympathy I felt for this girl is gone. She can suffer all she wants. Ugh. It's just so easy talking to you, okay? We have the same interests and we always have fun. Hey, stop right there! This conversation is heading down the wrong road. Hmm. Maybe you and I should start dating. Nah. What? I thought you would say yes. I mean, look how pretty I am. A pretty mask cannot hide all the ugliness underneath it. Wow. Didn't know you could be that harsh. She's got to do something about her personality. Nah, whatever. Let's focus on the game. We're going the wrong way. Okay. And it's your fault. I don't understand how she can just blame me for everything. We spent a while playing games at the internet cafe. Did they kick us out? Yeah, they kicked us out. We got a little too excited, and we were told to leave. Where should we go now? Let's see... We went to the arcade yesterday, so I have no idea. Well, I guess we should get going. Hold your horses, Kay! Hey, let go of me, Natsuki! You cannot turn your back and leave a girl all alone in the middle of the street. That's just cruel of you to do. Well, it's still early. I mean, I would walk you home if it was dark, but the sun's still up. Why are we going home so early? I want to spend more time with you. Is there any reason why you don't want to go home? Uh, uh, Not that I'm trying to pry or anything. Um, no, you're right. I was just being selfish. I'll stay. If you don't want to go home, we can hang out. Uh, are you sure? I mean, I'll have to take you home before it gets too late. I don't want anything dangerous happening to you. Wow, I didn't expect that to come out of your mouth. Well, I mean it. Uh, so, I see you're leading me into a residential area. Can you tell me where we're heading? My place. But we're not in that kind of relationship. Hey, I'm not bringing you home for inappropriate reasons. I just thought we could play more games. My place would be more comfortable than an internet cafe. Did you forget we just got kicked out for being too loud? Oh, uh, hearing that makes me feel pathetic. I never thought I would get kicked out for such embarrassing reasons. Oh, don't worry. My mom's home. You're going to introduce me to your mother. Stop it! You know it's not like that. Oh, my gosh! He has a girlfriend! That's what my mother said the moment she saw us coming through the door. I can understand why she would be so shocked. No, Mom. She's a friend. You have friends? I can't believe my own mother would ask me that. <laughs> That conversation with your mom told me a lot about your private life. I have no friends and I have no girlfriend. I'm lonely. So what? Don't worry. I will never abandon you, you pathetic loser. How can you insult me and be nice at the same time? <laughs> your mom seems like such a nice person. Natsuki looked at me as she said that. She smiled at me, 
but I could see a hint of sorrow. She wasn't the Natsuki who always picked fights with me. Yeah, I guess she's okay. Naturally, I figured out why she didn't want to go home. Want to stay out because of your parents, huh? <laughs> Was it that obvious? Well, you're looking pretty down. Your expression kind of exposed everything. Yeah, I guess I'm not too good at hiding it at all. She was acting so modest. Nothing like her usual self. I could feel how sad she was. It got me a bit worried. It's not like my parents are too strict, or they're horrible to me. They're nice people, and I know they love and care about me. It's just that... They're always busy with work. I mean, I don't get to see them often. Oh. I guess I'm lonely. That's why I felt a bit sad when I saw you and your mother talking. Is that why you don't want to be home? I know I act fine around you, but to be honest, I don't like spending time alone. Every time I go home to an empty house, I feel miserable. I don't feel comfortable around my friends either. They don't like the things I do, so I have to sit there and pretend to be happy around them. I just can't seem to find a place I could be myself. And... Pretending to be okay gets harder every day. That's why I asked you to meet up with me. You're the only one I feel comfortable around. Ever since the day we first played together. It hurt to imagine how lonely she had been for such a long time. Before we met, we were strangers. I didn't even know she was a girl. But she still opened her heart to me. Even when she had never met me before. Hearing that touched my heart deep down. You know, you're the only person I opened my heart to, too. So we should, you know, hang out more. Huh? You were right. I am a loser. I don't have a girlfriend or any friends. I have nobody to have fun with on summer break. That's why it's nice to know I have you. Uh, uh... We can be there for each other, so both of us aren't lonely. If you don't want to go home, you can stay for dinner anytime you want. My mom will be ecstatic if you do. Really? Huh? Is it really okay for me to... be with you? Okay. The way you word it, it can be very misconstrued. Do you even have to ask me? I think we're way past the formalities. You're my bestie. Uh, I see. It's weird to think we only actually met two days ago. But we have a long friendship online. I guess meeting people online isn't all that bad. <laughs> you're a good person, Kay. Oh, you're just realizing that now? You're still a loser. That last line was totally uncalled for. I'm thankful for your existence. I can be myself. And you give me what I need the most. So you should prepare yourself. I'm gonna keep you by my side, no matter what you say. I was glad to see Natsuki's expression was back to her usual self cheerful and optimistic. My heart was full, and I was relieved to see her back to normal. I know. Okay, let's get back to the game. Losers get about the game. Yeah, bring it on! I'm glad we both found each other. We met through an online game, and we only met in person two days ago. But we understand each other. We enjoy the company, and we have a lot of fun. Although I have to admit I did not expect her to be that pretty. However, that doesn't matter to me anymore. No matter what she looks like, Natsuki will always be Natsuki. Oh! oh! The next day, I bumped into someone very familiar while on my way to check out some new games after school. Okay! Oh, what a coincidence! Tell me about it! Wait, she's with someone I don't know. Probably one of the friends she was talking about yesterday. What are you doing? Being a loner like always? I'm going to see if they have new games. You don't even react to my teasing anymore. Of course I don't. She's done it so much, I've gotten used to it. Who is this guy? Is he one of the guys you jumped? In my humble opinion, you should learn to pick nicer friends. I love how you can just say that right to my face in front of her. Natsuki's friend immediately labeled me as a lower being. She didn't even consider the possibility of Natsuki and me being friends. I know Natsuki is pretty and so out of my league, but 
but I don't deserve this treatment. So, who is he? He's not a friend, right? Hmm. Well... <laughs> He's my boyfriend. What? Oh my gosh! Natsuki! Why would you say that? Oh, come on! You said I could stay by your side until I'm satisfied. No, you said that! <laughs> Bye, you did give me your permission. Natsuki mischievously smiled at me. She was having fun watching me freak out. I felt pathetic for feeling fulfilled seeing her like that. But my heart wouldn't stop racing. You little... I guess I should really work on my comebacks. But for some reason, I was enjoying the moment. I was happy. Please, I'm begging you! One weekend afternoon. That was what my friend Soma, whom I haven't seen in a while, said as his first words. What's up all of a sudden? I, Umi Mizushima, who was successfully able to get a job after graduating high school, was confused with my friend's request. Let me just say, I don't have any money to give. I'm just a newbie. I started working recently. No, money isn't important here. But money is life, though. To tell you the truth, I want you to go on a date with someone. Let me hear the details. I thought he was going to make some crazy request, but jeez. No need to be so formal, then. It'll be a man's shame if I don't listen to my friend's request. She's nine years apart! I'll take the shame. I'm going home. Please wait! I'm begging you! If she's nine years apart, she's either an elementary kid or an old lady, right? We're 18. She's someone who helped me out a lot and still takes good care of me. So I want to help her out somehow. So that means she's older. Then why would you go on a date with her then? She wishes for you. Why? I'm not sure about that either. I just heard her muttering about that one day, so I don't know the details. Hmm. So you're just doing this on your own? Yes. Well, I'm not too motivated about this. But if it's just once, then I'll do it. Really? Now that I think about it, we've been friends since middle school. So I'll listen to your request. Thanks a bunch! I owe you one! So, I ended up going on a date with someone older than me. And whom I've never met. Then it was already the weekend. Today's the day I'm supposed to go on a date with the person my friend asked me to. To be honest, I'm a bit scared. Like, we've never met, and she's older than me. If it ended up being an old-looking person or really ugly person, I'm putting on a straight face. But internally, my heart's beating super fast, and I'm getting the urge to leave any moment. But still, why did she choose me of all people? I have no idea, and with no prior knowledge, I'm filled with anxiety. And plus, she's older than me. She can't be the boss for my company, right? I don't recall a female employee nine years older than me. For a new employee, remembering all the employees' names and faces is challenging. Maybe there are still some people I haven't been able to learn about. Oh no, there's a possibility that she's a senior co-worker from my company. I'm suddenly getting gloomy. But even if that's the case, it's rude to leave now. Well, I guess that means I gotta make up my mind. I made up my mind. And at that moment... Oh, there you are. I heard a voice, so I turned around. A well-defined, curvy body line and a beautiful, innocent face. Since what she was wearing was mature, the word beautiful matches her too well. She looks like a model. Maybe she's... I'm not that knowledgeable about models, but she definitely looks like one. Hmm? Is she going on a date with someone? Whoever it is, I'm so jealous. They must live a perfect life. As I was thinking that, the lady approached me. Hmm? Why is she coming towards me? Sorry for the wait. Why is she standing in front of me? <laughs> is this... The ticket gate is over there. It's not that I'm lost. Hmm. Seems like she wasn't asking for directions. I don't know anymore. But your casual clothes are so cool, Umi. <laughs> As I stood there confused, I was suddenly attacked by something soft. Oh, sorry, Umi. Was it painful? 
It was heavenly. Um, <laughs> anyhow, may I ask who you are? If you're trying to hit on me, I think there are plenty of other guys better out there. It's new to hear that it's called hitting on people when they already know their name. True. But it is true that this could be called hitting on you. Hmm. If that's the case, then maybe I have to find some policemen roaming around here. But did she really try to pick me up? Because you don't know me, right, Umi? Nope. So if I'm gonna go on a date with you today, wouldn't that be considered that I picked you up? Hmm. Makes sense. Did she just say we're going on a date? I can't believe it. But is she the one that I was supposed to meet today? Are you kidding me? What? What happened? No, I just thought that some old person who likes going out with any young boys would come. Hmm, so you came here thinking like that. Yes, I was terrified. Oh, you must be nice. Thinking back, I'm amazed I agreed to such a request. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself yet, right? My name is Mio Sakuragi. Nice to meet you. Oh, my name is... It's Umi Mizushima, right? Pleasure to meet you. She said that so casually. I'm not sure if I was supposed to say anything about that there. Um, first of all, if I may ask, why did you want to go on a date with me? We've never met before, right? Do you really think we've never met? If I saw someone as beautiful as you, I'm sure I would have remembered. But even if I looked at her face again, I still think I haven't seen her before. Well, I guess it makes sense that you don't remember. Um, but anyhow, you could tell me why you wanted to see me? As soon as I said that, Miss Sakuragi took my hand. Let's go, shall we? Wait! Without telling me anything, she's gonna take me somewhere. What was she thinking of making me do? Startled at the situation, I started holding a grudge against my friend. Although I couldn't ask any questions then, by the time I realized it, Miss Sakuragi had brought me to the bowling alley. Bowling? I see. Oh, do you not like it? No, but I just thought that adults playing together meant going to a pub, bar, or a club. Wow, all related to alcohol. Well, I do sometimes go to places like that as a company gathering, but you can't drink yet, right? Even if I don't drink, I think I could still enter the place. Hmm, and plus, I wanted to feel young again. You already look young enough. Do you need to go even further? Okay, then whoever loses takes a penalty. Huh? You sure? Don't underestimate me even though I'm old. I exercise when I go during work. No, I never thought that you're old. Anyways, she's so beautiful to the point that I'm forgetting about the age difference. But that's not the point here. Okay, whoever loses listens to whatever the winner asks for. Let's do that. And after saying that, she threw her first ball. <laughs> I didn't know you were good at bowling. By the end of the game, I scored 200 points. But Miss Sakuragi only scored 95 points. I've played so much with my friend, and plus, I was a high school student until recently. I'm sad. Oh man, she's cute. Can't believe she's 27. Well, that's that. Okay, please ask me anything. Uh... That reaction, it kind of hurts me. Um, even if you tell me to ask you for anything, we just barely met today. Or what? Do you want me to ask you for such and such things? <laughs> what am I thinking? Well, I do have to admit that I did think about that a tiny bit. Okay, then. Will you treat me to food, then? You're fine with something as simple as that? For a new employee living by himself, it's a life or death problem. Oh, you live alone. It's so admirable to be living alone at such a young age. Good job. Huh? Why is she suddenly treating me like a child? Oh, please don't. People are watching us! Okay, if that's the case then, I shall treat you something good. As a fifth year working woman who lives alone, I have more than enough spare money. Don't you feel sad saying that? Not at all. I only intend on marrying you. Huh? 
Huh? What did this person say? Oh no, nothing. Sorry, please forget what I just said. I guess she slipped her tongue. Miss Sakuragi's face became bright red, and she got flustered. Seeing a beauty's face turn red is rare, but somehow, I'm embarrassed too. Uh, okay. I'll treat you food now. And that's how Miss Sakuragi blatantly changed the subject. She took me to a good sushi place after that, and that's how our date ended. I totally thought it was going to be some old lady who wanted to date any young guys, but what a surprise. The person who came was a cute lady who was older than me. Although I couldn't ask her about everything, I feel like I was able to enjoy it. It's still lunchtime, but I'm already tired. The next day, after the date, the sluggish morning finally ended. As I expected, being a sales representative is tough. We shouldn't be fooled by the good pay. Mizushima, work hard in the afternoon, too. Yes, sir! But everyone is nice, so I think it's a good working environment. I don't mind coming along with you, but I'm surprised you were able to get an appointment with such a company. I'm still surprised myself, too, that I was able to set up an appointment with such a big company. After lunch, I was accompanied by my supervisor to go on sales negotiation. Although our usual customers are smaller companies, the company we were visiting that day was at the top floor of a building where you had to look up to the point where your neck hurts. The reception was spectacular. That was my honest opinion as a first-year sales rep. I thought our company was pretty big too, but when I see something like this... Please, have confidence in front of your subordinates. Thinking back, I think the person who we were supposed to see today was Sakuragi. I feel like the person who I went on a date with the other day had the same last name. Sorry for the way. And the person who appeared saying that was... Not at all. Thank you very much for making this time for us to die! <laughs> <laughs> it's first time seeing you since yesterday, Kai. It was Miss Sakuragi! Who would have thought that Miss Sakuragi was a work-dedicated person who works in such a big corporation? No wonder she has money to spare living alone! Do you guys know each other? Um, yes. We... I wouldn't exactly call it a relationship, but we did go on a date on our first meeting. You should choose who you should play with. I know that much myself, too. This situation is making it so hard to proceed with things. For anyone with experience in sales, they should understand how difficult it is to work with an acquaintance. Can a newbie handle this job without impacting our personal lives? Um, I appreciate your time today. I appreciate it, too. I made a wry smile, looking at Miss Sakuragi's smile. That night... I never expected that you were working there, Miss Sakuragi. As expected, Miss Sakuragi called me over for dinner after work. By the way, we had already exchanged contact information. I knew, though. I figured. Is that why you agreed to have a meeting with us? Mm, not really. I try not to bring personal matters into work. I just wanted to hear about your product. I did decline your offer at the end, right? Oof! I understand. Well, they are a big company, so I didn't think we stood a chance, but it still hurts. Anyways, thank you for seeing me today, too. Judging from the text message, it seemed like you would treat me, so... I like the honesty. Girls like guys who are like that. I haven't had a girlfriend before, though. Okay, cheers for working hard today. And that's what she said, but... What's up, Kai? What's up? In just 30 minutes... She was drunk. Um, Miss Sakuragi? You've only had one glass of beer so far. Isn't it too early to get drunk? I'm not drunk. I'm sorry. Can I get the check, please? I gotta get her home before she causes trouble. I'm sorry, Kai. I get drunk very easily. Oh, yes. I can see that very much. Seeing her get drunk with just one glass, I could easily deduce that much. I'm sincerely worried that she'll be assaulted by some strange man. I usually don't drink with since you were there, so it's your fault. Let's go to a fancy Italian place next time. Before she starts blaming other people. Okay, okay, it was my fault for this. So, is your house here? Yeah. Looks like her house is in this sky-high apartment building. 
What a rich person. I'm so jealous. So different from me. Miss Sakuragi, please give me your keys. And the permission to take you to your room. I shall. <laughs> it's my humble pleasure. Dealing with overly hyped Miss Sakuragi, I received the keys with unsteady hands and went in the room. Time to drink! Don't! Please, no more! This person! She tried to drink as soon as she got back to her room! Then please talk to me. Got it. I was honestly relieved that tomorrow was still the weekend. And two hours later... I haven't been able to get back home yet. She asked me to stay and talk with her until she sobered up. But I still hadn't returned home yet. You're not nice. Even though she calms down from her excessively hyped face, now she's in the drunk mumbling face. Seems like I can't go home anytime soon. Um, I haven't done anything with you, though. That's right, though. Normally, if you go into a drunk girl's room, it's expected for the guy to do something. True. I'm surprised at my strong will. Although there was such a cute person in front of me, I did not think about that until she said it. Am I that unattractive? I even tried hard and drink alcohol. Oh. She's bad with alcohol. That's not true, Miss Sakuragi. You're very attractive. Then why won't you lay hands on me? If you ask me to, I could. But it's been only two days since we met. Of course I can't lay hands on you. You have too much common sense. If you keep saying things like that, other guys are gonna hit on you. Especially since you're so beautiful, Miss Sakuragi. Jeez, she should realize how attractive she is, as well as how dangerous other guys can be. As I was thinking about that, Miss Sakuragi pouted her lips. Kai thinks that I'm a woman who would say such things to other guys. Huh? I bet you know already. Well, somewhat. I mean... No one can go this far and not realize. So the reason why you won't do anything to me? Is it because you don't know why I like you? To be honest, that's 70%. And the other 30% is because we've barely met. Well, of course, Miss Sakuragi is very attractive. And if you asked me if I wanted to do things like that with her, I would nod my head instantly. You're so mature even though you're so young. It's to protect my pride as a man. But anyhow... I want to hear about the reason sometime soon. Why do you have feelings towards me? Hmm... Well, a while ago, I was molested. As I was looking at her with a serious face, Miss Sakuragi began to tell her story in a quiet voice. Everyone around me noticed, but no one came to help. There were even people who tried to take pictures. That's terrible. Yeah, that's so true. But I couldn't raise my voice either. So I'm thinking it's partly my fault, too. That shouldn't be the case. To feel horrified being touched by someone you don't know is natural. And even if she couldn't raise her voice, that still doesn't make it her responsibility. But even in that situation, there was one person who saved me. That's what she said, and looked straight into my eyes. Maybe that's why. I began to remember. Thinking back, I did catch a molester a while ago. Sadly, he got away, but... I was really happy. Even though I'm already 27, I was about to tear up. That person chased after the molester, so I quickly lost sight of him, though. But when I told my neighbor Soma about this, he said, Isn't that Kai? And he immediately told me about you. True. I remember complaining to Soma since I couldn't catch that molester. I was annoyed. Hey, Kai. Don't you think this is destiny? I feel like it's just a coincidence. You've got no sense of romance. At least for me, I thought it was destiny. And as I expected, you were such a kind person. Hey! I thought you were talking about a touching story. But it feels like the situation is suddenly becoming more inappropriate. I have lots of money. And in case of emergency, I have enough to take you in. I don't intend on becoming a kept man. I was able to learn why she had feelings towards me. Dealing with this kind of mingling is difficult for guys but I was happy I was able to learn about the reason. And while I was thinking that, I fought trying to take drunk Miss Sakuragi off of me. The next Monday, 
I'm sorry for making you see such a disgraceful sight. She invited me for lunch during our break from work and apologized for the trouble she caused. Even though we work for different companies. No problem. It was interesting watching you. I can't be seen like that. I'm nine years older than you. I think having a unique side like that is good. And plus, even to the end, you didn't lay hands on me. I don't think that should have been done. I'm a person who wants to cherish someone I like. When I said that, Miss Sakuragi widened her eyes. I also suddenly became embarrassed, saying such things. So, um, I'd appreciate it if you don't do things like that anymore. Does that mean...? We only met a few days ago, and you might think I'm a simple man. But it was fun being with you, and you're very nice. But I'm much older than you. The fact that you don't look old is amazing. Take me seriously. I am taking you seriously. I don't care about our age difference. Of course, if we're like 20, 30 years apart, then I would reconsider. But nine, it's just a minor difference. Besides, feelings are more important, I think. I... I think it's a minor difference, too. And plus, if you're older than me, you must be knowledgeable. Since I've never dated anyone before, that could be helpful. Um, to be honest, I haven't dated anyone before. That's actually better. It was you who approached me first, so don't lose your confidence. But I got nervous when the situation suddenly became like this. First of all, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have met you so often. Although the first meeting was because of my friend's request, the other two were totally up to my decision. And if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have agreed to see her. Oh, but maybe you're not too up for this now? No, that's not the case. When I suddenly lost my confidence, Miss Sakuragi leaned forward and brought her face closer to me. It's true that at first, I was just thinking about thanking you or love at first sight, but... After seeing you, I became to like you even more seeing your kind side as well as the manly side. Oh, uh, I see. Oh gosh, I'm genuinely happy, but I'm slightly embarrassed. The fact that we're in a cafe is making it even worse. Then, should we start going out? Yes, please take care of me. And that's how Miss Sakuragi and I started dating. Five days since meeting, and nine years apart. There's a lot of factors, but that didn't matter, since it was her. To be honest, I wanted to ask you out like a mature lady. That's that. You're usually mature and cool, so there's no problem. With her, I feel like we can be happy together. And one week later... Cheers! Cheers! Although quite rare, Soma came to visit me after work today. Man, I'm jealous of people who live alone. I want to live alone, too! I think living with your parents is good, too, though. You can save money, and your parents will cook you food. Anyways, I heard! You started going out with Miss Mio? Hmm? I'm surprised you know. Oh, you guys are childhood friends, right? It was him who gave me the opportunity to meet Miss Sakuragi, too. Man, I was worried about the age difference, but as expected, Miss Mio, she's very popular with the guys, so if she went for you... I thought you'd fall for her instantly! Oh, she is indeed popular. As an elite, working for a famous company, and with that appearance and her fine personality, it'd be strange if she wasn't popular. Oh no, I'm getting irritated. Umi, I'm here. At that moment, the door to my room suddenly opened. Oh, Soma, you're here too. Good to see you, Miss Mio! Oh, today was the day she was supposed to come over. I forgot to tell him. But looking at this, it sure seems like she's your wife. That's because Kai doesn't make his own food. To clarify, I'm usually the one going over to Miss Sakuragi's house. That's shameful, Kai! Hearing him call me shameful for not making her travel all the way here isn't very acceptable. I'm doing this because I like it, so it doesn't bother me at all. Should I make you something, Kai? All the more, Soma is here too, so... I'll help. After being called shameful, I should help out here. Um, it's not like I make her do everything. I do help her out, too. <laughs> then let's make it together. It seems like I'm in the way here. And while listening to my friends say that, Miss Sakuragi and I headed over to the kitchen. 
I moved on to high school and something happened that day after class. If you beg, maybe I'll go out with you. My name is Kazuki Komori, and my childhood friend Sari Minazuki just confessed to me out of the blue. I beg you to go out with me. There's no way I would say that! Are you sure it's okay to reject me? I keep rejecting her. She just keeps teasing me because I'm not popular with girls. I see. I haven't been to your house in a while. Can I stop by? Don't suddenly change the subject. Why do you want to come over anyway? I just want to talk with your mom. What? Were you expecting something else? What? No way! Uh, she just keeps making fun of me. I want to get her back one day. She's called the campus idol, but her attitude is crap. Even though she was a lot more honest and cute in the past. I've been friends with Sari for 10 years. We lived in the same neighborhood, and our parents were friends as well. In elementary school, Sari had short hair, so she was like a guy friend to me. She was very tomboyish, energetic, and bright. I wasn't the gloomy, unpopular type like I am now. I didn't lose to Sari when it came to being the bright and energetic type. I could easily connect with her. Sari, when school's over, come over to my house. Okay, I'll come. We became high schoolers, and I can't fix my mouth to say those words anymore. The turning point in our relationship was in fifth grade. Azuki, what's this? That's my dad's, not mine. The book Sari was holding was a magazine with pinup girls in it. Actually, I got it straight from the source. I had it hidden in my room, but Sari went and found it. Wow, what's this? Aren't her boobs too big? Uh, hey! They're bigger than my mom's. Don't look at them, I say so! Hmm, do you prefer bigger ones, Kazuki? No, not in particular. Really? Really, really! You're lying! Your face is super red! No, it isn't! Liar, liar! You like bigger ones! It's borderline unmanageable, but in order to calm Sari down, I told her how I felt. Size doesn't matter, because I like you! Huh? Recently, you started to look really cute. I wanted to get closer to you. How should I put it? Then you'll marry me when we get older? Yeah, of course! That's great, then... You don't need this magazine anymore, right? Well, that's... You don't need it, right? Mm. See, you like older women more than me. That's not it, really! I'll tell your mom. Cut that out! Anything but that! So that happened, and me and Sari were both aware of each other as boy and girl. When we got to middle school, Sari suddenly became a lot more beautiful. Her hair got longer, and she dropped her tomboyishness for a more feminine attitude. She was really popular with the boys around her. Our distance grew in our second year since we were in different classes. But when we had time, we'd walk home together. After class today, a third year senior asked me out. You don't say. You're not interested? It's not that I'm not interested. Are you gonna date them? I wonder, what do you think I should do? To be honest, I don't want you to date anyone. The most important thing is your feelings, right? No need to ask me. Hmm. So, it's alright if I date the guy? That's... Uh... You're panicking. I am not! As if... I'm not dating him, so don't worry. I wasn't really worried. Don't lie. How long do you think we've been friends? I can see it written on your face you don't want me to date them. Plus, you promised to marry me, remember? That's still a thing? Why do you say that? I might not be a good fit for you. You're still saying that? That's just how I am. Jeez, how long are you going to keep up that negative attitude? When did I get like this? Now that I think about it, I got this way when I started middle school. I wanted to be cool and not lose to Sari, so I started to fix myself up. But it was a fruitless effort. I tried my hardest, but it was basically impossible to improve my wet blanket of a character. I found that out in my first year in middle school. 
Then, when we got to high school, Sari got even cuter. On the other hand, I had no self-confidence. Even walking next to Sari, I nervously wonder what people around us would say. By the way, why did you choose the same high school as me? Why? Because it's close to my house. That's the only reason? I guess. Really, it's because Sari chose it, but there's no way I can say something that embarrassing. Is it because you don't want to be separated from me? Wow! Wow! That's not it! It's just a coincidence! Stop poking me! Her intuition was as sharp as ever. Hmm. Well, I guess it's fine. What is? I was thinking of getting a boyfriend soon. What? Anything you want to say right now? What do you mean, anything? Obviously a confession. Well, get on with it. Um, okay. I like you. Please go out with me. No way. Why? Why? Because it was totally insincere. That happened to anyone if you asked them on the fly. First of all, you still feel awkward around me, right? Well, that's... And you said we wouldn't be compatible, but do you really think that? Huh? Isn't the most important thing what the couple thinks? Other people's opinions don't matter, right? I mean, I guess that's true. Not I guess, it is! My type is a steadfast and dependable guy. I don't like people who are swayed by others' opinions. I see. Why is she so annoyed? Wait, she's annoyed that I'm so passive. But hey, if you beg, I guess I'll go out with you. I beg of you. There's no way I'd say that! Are you sure it's okay to reject me? Didn't you just say that you didn't like people swayed by others' opinions? <clears throat> then Sari said she wanted to see my mom, so I brought her to my house. Auntie, long time no see. Oh, Sari, it's been a while. You've gotten cuter since last I've seen you. <laughs> Thank you. Kazuki's brought you here, so I guess you two are a thing now? No way! Of course, my son's horrible with the ladies. Hey, Mom, don't say your own son is bad with girls. It's the truth, but it still hurts. After that, my mom went shopping. Sari took over my bed and made herself comfortable. So, why are you in my room? No real reason. It's been a while, so I wanted to come in. Uh-huh. I haven't been in here since elementary school. Did you get more manga? I guess. Hmm. You have a lot of romance manga. That's just your imagination. Then... Why do you have so many big booby girls in them? Like I should know. I'm enjoying the story, so the art has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Well, you've always liked them big. I told you, that's wrong! Consider all that. The heroine is... Whoa! This is something. Hey! Don't just look through my manga without permission! <laughs> what kind of situation is this? That's just how this manga is! You're the same old big boob loving type, huh? I said that's wrong! I told you I liked you already, didn't I? Ugh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore! <laughs> then prove it to me. The proof? Can you act out a scene from your manga? My boobs aren't as big as the heroines, but they've gotten bigger, right? Don't you want to check how much I've grown? Sari started acting out a scene. Ugh, oh, isn't it hot in here? It is? My clothes are getting in the way. She's testing me. As the story unfolds, the heroine's next lines are... Hey, can you unbutton my buttons from the top? From the top, got it? Is that really okay? Yes, please go ahead. Slowly, please. I got it. Being egged on by Sari, I started to unbutton her uniform. I got completely dragged into this, but with the way this is going, I don't think I can resist. After complying and unbuttoning her top, after that is... I... I can't do it! 
Huh? Why do you stop halfway? Jeez, it's obvious that you're teasing me! You don't want to prove to me that you like me? I'd rather show proof some other way than this. Another way? I'm thinking. Okay, then. Why are you taking off your clothes yourself? Because they'll get wrinkly. Just when I thought she was just squirming around the bed, her skirt flopped out from under the sheets. Hey, why did you take your skirt off? I told you I don't want wrinkles. I'm going to take a quick nap, so hang up my uniform. Good night. Just using someone else's bed like that. What is this girl thinking? Am I being tested again? Or does she just think there's no risk? What does Sari think of me in the first place? Oh, I don't think she hates me. But does she like me in that way, I wonder? We just kept going on as childhood friends, but... Ugh, I don't get it! Hey, you're not gonna come sleep with me? You're awake? No, I'm not! Come on, I warmed up the bed, so just get over here. Uh, is she making fun of me again? We used to sleep together a lot when we were younger, right? I'm feeling a bit nostalgic, so come on. You're talking about elementary school, right? And plus, right now you're... She's not wearing her uniform. So that means it's only right for me to take off mine, too. No, that's wrong! Oh, man. The Kazuki in elementary school was so brazen and cool. He'd say things like, Sari, come to my house today. That's in the past! I can't say those things now! Uh-huh. That's why I have to be proactive or nothing happens. Mm. Hey, Kazuki, what do you want our relationship to be from here on? Do you want to move forward in our relationship or stay the same? Weren't you the one that rejected me? That's because... Because? Because it was super embarrassing. And I really like you... So, so, I wanted to date you, too. Really? So you like me, too? Why did she have such a cute reaction? If you don't hurry, your mom will come back, so come on. Okay. This isn't me going with the flow. I'm actually making my own decision. So I have to go through with it. I prepared myself to get under the sheets, but... Just kidding! I had on shorts under my skirt. Teasing you is so much fun. Siri! I was prepared in everything! Hey, hey! Was your heart racing? Huh? Was it? Shut up! Stop sulking! Hey, hey! Stop poking my cheeks! Sorry, sorry. Your reaction was just so funny. I'm sorry for teasing you, so forgive me. I've had enough. Just hurry up and get out! As I said that, ready to peel Sari off of me. Mwah! Huh? Just now. <laughs> I wonder... I suddenly felt something soft on my cheek. It took some time before I realized it was Sari's lips. Just... What do you think you're doing? Something like... A kiss and makeup? You think you could fool me with that? You didn't like it? It's not that, but that's not what I'm talking about. So a makeup kiss is no good. Then what should I do for you to forgive the teasing? One more time. That goes without saying, right? Let's do it properly. On the lips. Uh-huh. In other words, you want to kiss me? If I kiss you, you'll forgive me? It has nothing to do with forgiveness or anything. I just want to kiss you. Hmm, maybe I'll tell your mom everything that happened. Anything but that! Some way or another, I got hooked on Sari's antics. I totally have no idea what she's thinking, but she's good at pulling my leg. It was time for Sari to go home, so I walked her back. My house is close by, you don't have to walk me back. My mom wouldn't have stopped nagging me about it, so... Are you still mad? Nah, I don't care anymore. Anyway, could you cut me some slack? 
Seriously. Well, we are boyfriend and girlfriend now, so I'll go easy on ya. Exactly. We're boyfriend and girlfriend now, so... Eh? <laughs> when was that decided? Just a while ago. Didn't I say that I liked you and wanted to go out? I was completely serious. Oh, I see. So, with that said, let's kiss as a couple. Uh, okay. Here I go. So, just like that, after getting teased so many times. From now on, as Siri's boyfriend, I think I won't get pushed around anymore. Oh, uh, well, I was planning on going home. What? Are you saying you don't want to drink with me? No, that's not what I meant. Good. Give me your cup, then. Let me pour you a drink. Uh... Here, you need a drink up. Thank you very much. My name is Satoshi Kuruta. Right now, I'm trying to get out of drinking with this mysterious beauty who is wasted. I'm such a fool sitting next to this girl. If only I had known she was this drunk when I first came in. I wish I could turn back time. She just started talking to me after I ordered my first drink and hasn't left me alone since. I'm not used to people talking to me while drinking, and besides, how could I say no to such a beautiful woman? So I guess it's my fault for getting myself into this situation. Stupid me. Hey, don't you have work tomorrow or something? Nope, tomorrow's my day off. I see, that's good for her, but I have to go to work in the morning. I just wanna go home. Hey, can I tell you something? Uh, sure. It's my mom. She keeps telling me to get married, like every day. Asking if I have a boyfriend or telling me she wants to see grandchildren. I am so sick of it. She is so annoying. Wow, that must be tough for you. You think so? I do not exist to fulfill my mother's need to see grandchildren. I mean, not that I don't want kids. I love babies and small children. They're so cute. But I don't have anybody to marry. I'm sure many guys out there want to be with you. There are. I've had so many guys ask me out, I've lost count. Then you won't have a problem finding the right guy. How can I expect them to be the right guy when they only want to be with me for having a pretty face? It's so shallow. I see. Girls like her have such high expectations. She needs to face reality, or she'll never find the right guy. Hey. Yes? You said you think many guys want to be with me. Does that mean you think I'm pretty? Huh? Do you? Too close! Well, yeah, you have a pretty face. Hmm, I see. Hey, how about you and I try the relationship thing? What? Why are you asking me that? You might not get another chance to date such a pretty girl. Um, I have to admit she has a point, but she's too drunk to make important decisions. She needs to sober up, now! I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Why? You and I, we just met. Like, just met like an hour ago. Going into a relationship with someone you don't know is... Hmm, fine. Then I'll just need your signature for these papers. What's this? Marriage registration papers. <laughs> Why do you even have marriage registration papers? How can you ask a man you know nothing about to sign these for you? Well, I was looking for somebody who might be willing to be in a fake marriage with me. If I could just get a name, I could show my mom. You are absolutely insane! No, it's a great idea. Why are you so proud of this crazy idea? There's no way I'm signing this! Hm. Gosh, I can't believe you even thought of asking me! You're the only person I can ask. Plus, it's not like we're turning it in. What's the problem? She's acting like a kid. If it's just to show your mother, can't you just write a random name? No, how will I explain if the person turns up? What are the chances of that happening? Besides, what does it matter if the only thing she needs is a name? She's overthinking things. So nothing will change your mind? Hey, you're getting too close. <laughs> Relax, I can see you blushing. Please stop. Hmm, I'll stop when you sign the papers. Why won't you just give up on that? I'm not letting go until you sign them. Gah, I hate drunk people. They're so annoying. Fine then, I'll write my name. Really? Thank you. But promise me you'll get rid of the papers once you show your mother. I know, I know. Oh, can I have your phone number too? Why do you want my number? 
just in case there's ever a time I need to get in contact with you. Besides, if you don't keep an eye out, who knows what I'll do with these papers. Hey, that's not what I promised! I was scared of what she might do with the papers, so I reluctantly gave her my number, and I promised myself I would never step foot in this place ever again. A few weeks later... Hey, why haven't you come back to see me? I have no idea how she found me, but Kokomi Shinohara, the drunk girl, was standing at my doorstep. Wait, how did you find out where I live? You wrote your address on the marriage registration papers. You need to tell me why haven't you come back to see me? Um, I was busy. Liar! You were avoiding me, weren't you? Oh, she knows. Hey, why would I ever do something like that? I waited for you every day so I could buy you a drink to thank you. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm sorry about that. But if that was the case, couldn't you have given me a call? I mean, I gave you my number. That would be embarrassing. Oh, she's embarrassed? After what she asked me to do? Uh, anyways, I'm here, so let me in. Wait, do you mean... Let me in your place. What? You, you can't be serious! I came all the way here. I might as well check out your room. My living condition is none of your concern! Oh, let me guess. Your room is too dirty to let anybody see inside. No, I like to keep my room tidy and clean. Then I don't see a problem. Seriously, personal space! Oh my gosh, are you drunk again? I am sorry to inform you that I am as sober as I can be. You're kidding. I thought it was the alcohol that was making her crazy. Come on, let me in. I'll behave. Why are you being so persistent about coming into my room? Because you're my fiancé. No, I'm not. We're not even friends. Hey, look! I've got proof you're my fiancé. What? Hey! You promised me you would get rid of that after you showed your mother! There's no way I'm throwing it away. Why would I do that? I could go down to the city hall right now and we could be married for real. Wait, you wouldn't do that, right? Nothing good will come from it. You don't want to marry me? No, everything will be good. Once I file these papers, my mother will stop bugging me about marriage. Are you crazy? You'll do it just to get your mother off your back? Plus, you need me to be there to file the papers, or else they won't accept them. Aw, you didn't know? As long as the papers are filled in, they don't need both of us to go. I didn't know that. <laughs> How about we get married right now? This cannot be happening to me. This woman is unbelievable. Even her pretty face cannot hide the evil living inside her. Hmm. <laughs> Jeez, why are you sulking? Because, Satoshi, you're being mean. So I guess we're calling each other by our first names now? What is it about me that makes you so set on marrying me? Huh? You're a beautiful woman. You can probably get any guy you pick to fall for you. I just can't understand why you would pick me. Do you want to know? Huh? If you want to know, let me in your room so I can explain. That's the only way you'll find out. Man, that's cheap. This is your last chance or you'll never find out why I like you. If you don't let me in your place today, I don't plan on ever telling you why you are the chosen one. Ugh, fine. Come on in. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Huh? She just busts out this innocent side. It always catches me off guard. It's so different than how she usually acts. It makes her look so cute. Okay, let's go inside so I can find something I can use against you just in case we get into a fight. I don't have anything I need to hide. <laughs> Your room is so clean. I love it. Kokomi looked content as she sat down in the middle of my living room. Well, I didn't want any cockroaches. There's nothing more attractive than a man who can clean. Uh, so, you promised me you'd tell me why you want to marry me. Oh, you just ruined the mood. There's a girl in your place. Shouldn't you be more excited? Excited? No. Nervous? Yes. I want to get this over with as soon as possible. Oh, I see. Okay then, let me ask you a question first. What do you think of when you look at me? A drunk girl? I can see how you would get there, but that's not what I'm talking about. Hmm. Whatever, it's fine. I knew you wouldn't remember anyways. She smiled a little and suddenly pulled out a hair tie. I had no idea why she was tying her hair, but I watched in silence since she would probably scold me if I interrupted her. Once she finished, she pulled out some glasses and put them on. So, do you remember now? 
Wait, you look like... Are you... Miss President? Miss President. That was the nickname everybody used to call one of my classmates. She was the class president, and she was serious about her job, hence the nickname. I'm glad you remember me. I didn't even recognize you. You've changed a lot over the years. I never imagined the class president to become a woman who drinks till she's wasted, only to bother other customers. You know, I always thought she had a pretty face, but she's become so beautiful. I... I have a confession to make. That night we met, I wasn't drunk. I was only pretending to be wasted. Wait, what? I know, it's pathetic. I only had one drink before you arrived. Why would you pretend to be drunk? I can't believe you're making me say this. I was scared of what you might think of me if I came onto you sober. Huh? Seriously, you've always been so insensitive when it comes to things like this. Are you doing this on purpose? It seems as though I've angered her, but I have no clue why. Um, I'm sorry. <sighs> Whatever. Wow, this is awkward. I should change the subject. So, Kokomi, did you come up with a fake last name? You had a different one back in high school. Um, my parents got divorced. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I, I should have never brought it up. I never meant to bring back bad memories. I feel awful. This is so bad. Uh. Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, the look on your face. Hey, were you just messing with me? <laughs> nah, my parents really did get divorced. Oh. But it doesn't bother me at all. Actually, I'm the one who told them that they should break up. There was no love left between them anymore. They only bore each other for my sake. Oh, I see. Still, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It makes me really happy to know that you actually remembered my name from high school. Of course I do. She's trying to make me feel better. Hey, I wish you would stop looking so gloomy. I'm thankful for everything you have done for me. I want you to be happy. Thankful? For what? Satoshi, you've always been so kind to me. Huh? Remember how serious I was back in high school? Many of the students didn't accept me because of it. Yeah, I remember that. Kokomi was strict on school rules, and she would often scold her classmates for breaking the rules. They didn't like Kokomi, even if she was right. Some of the students started bullying me, but I still remember how you protected me from them. I didn't do anything to be thanked for. That's not true. You stood by me when nobody else talked to me. On top of that, you protected and defended me every time you saw the bullies approaching me. That's why you mean so much to me. I didn't tell you this, but when my parents were fighting every day, I was feeling so depressed. You didn't even ask me why. You took me out to have fun, which helped more than you can imagine. I've had feelings for you, Satoshi, ever since high school. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought of telling you how I felt so many times, but I couldn't find the courage to do it. And before I knew it, we were graduating. I regretted it so much, and however pathetic it might sound, I never forgot about it. Not once. So I decided to change, to become less pathetic. I changed my personality and how I looked. So that's why you look and sound so different from back then. There's no way I could recognize her. She's a completely different person now. You know, I worked hard to get here. Yeah, I can see how much you changed. Good. And then, I think it was about two months ago, I saw you walk into the izakaya we met in. Oh, you saw me? Yep, so I followed you inside and kind of watched you that night. I still couldn't find the courage to talk to you, though. And after you left, I asked one of the izakaya staff about you. She told me that you were a regular customer and that you came by often. Ever since then, I have been going to that izakaya in hopes of seeing you again. Wow, that's kind of extreme. So you planned everything that happened that night? Yeah, but I couldn't help it. I waited, hoping you would sit next to me one day. I promised myself that I would tell you my feelings if you ever sat next to me. Your feelings? I don't think that was clear. Okay, let me just make this clear. I wasn't planning on busting out the marriage registration papers on you from the beginning. At first, my plan was to have a few drinks with you, act like a mature woman, and get you to like me. And then we would naturally start going out, but you totally ruined it. Yeah, your original plan isn't that great either. I think it would have been better if you had told me you were Miss President. 
I would have warmed up to you faster that way. Well, I didn't think of that. You see, I acted all calm and fine, but I was panicking inside. I couldn't get my thoughts straight. So you made me sign marriage registration papers? Why did you even have them to start with? Well, you shut me down when I asked you out, so I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. She didn't look like she was freaking out. That's when I remembered. I had those papers in my bag just in case our relationship went well and we decided on getting married. I wasn't lying about my mother telling me to get married. I figured since you were so nice, you'd be willing to help me if I told you I needed it to be signed. You know, you kind of amaze me. You're making fun of me, aren't you? But you have no idea. I just knew Destiny pulled us together when I first saw you. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. No, I swear I'm not. It actually makes me really happy to find out that you've had such strong feelings for me all these years. Satoshi. I mean, your plan was a disaster, but... Huh? I thought you were accepting my actions. Are you going to scold me now? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just... You went out of your way to come back into my life. It would be a waste to throw it away. Can we start as friends? Huh? So what about our engagement? Yeah, no. I can't get engaged to you. However, I'm willing to start a friendship with you, keeping the possibility of us dating open, if that's okay with you. Of course, once we get to know each other better, and we start dating, there's a big possibility of us getting married. Oh, um, okay. That sounds great. Let's be friends and get to know each other better. Great. I look forward to spending time with you, Kokomi. Uh, yep. Me too, Satoshi. And so... Kokomi and I became friends, just like we were back in high school. We've grown up, so now that we have the money, we spent a lot of time together on the weekends going on trips. She seemed so different personality and looks-wise, so I needed time to get to know her. But once we started hanging out, I realized nothing had changed about her. She pretended she was all mature in hopes of luring me into dating her, but in reality, she was innocent and almost childlike. I think that her serious and opinionated personality caused her extreme actions. I found out that I was attracted to that side of her, while we spent time together. We continued being friends for about a month. I was the one who asked her out, and we became good partners. Kokomi was ecstatic when I asked her to be my girlfriend. I promised myself I would make her the happiest girl on earth. Two months after the start of our relationship, we decided to get married. Kokomi was pretty insistent. She wasn't lying about wanting to get married as soon as possible. Being with her will definitely be difficult at times. But I think I might even enjoy that, too. I, Yota Sasaki, I'm a normal office worker working for a decent trading company for five years now. The only unusual fact might be that I've been secretly dating a girl from the same company, but has kept it a secret for two years. And today is our second anniversary, so I reserved a fancy Italian restaurant for her. I even prepared a present, so I hope she likes it. Sorry for the wait, Yuta. Mio Sagami. She works in the same company as me as a clerk. And although she's not great at it, with her friendliness, she's popular among the guys. Since she told me if people found out that we were dating, people would become cold to her, we've been keeping this fact a secret. Oh, no problem. Were you working overtime? Ah, uh, yes. I don't want to work overtime tomorrow, so I worked hard today. Oh, I see. Good work. It's our second anniversary today, but she has a more important plan than that tomorrow? I'm a little shook, but I guess it can't be helped. Mmm, this is good. That's good to hear. If I can see your happy face, then I guess I can stand it. Mio, this is for you. Thank you. Can I open it now? Yeah, sure. This is the bag I said I wanted. It's been two years since we started dating, so I thought it'd be a good present. It was about 300,000 yen, so it was quite painful for my wallet, though. Well, we've been dating for two years, so this should be okay, I guess. Did you like it? Yes. As the last gift, she was so-so. What? Last? Yes. We should break up. Ray said a word not fit for today's situation so calmly. What? Are you kidding me? Why? Of course it's because I'm tired of you, Yuta. There shouldn't be any other reasons besides that. No way! Well, 
you were a backup to begin with. Someone like you were able to date someone like me, so you should actually appreciate me for that. I was tired of you for quite a while ago, but I decided to break up after getting a nice gift for our second anniversary. Mia said this without looking guilty at all. And I was so shocked, half of what she was saying did not get into my ears. I don't want to break up with you. I'll fix what you don't like, so please reconsider. There's no more merit going out with you, so no way. I hate that clingy part of you. Well, the only part I liked about you was your hopelessly dual part. What do you mean? You didn't realize that I started going out with Rei three months ago, right? Rei? You mean Yoshida? Rei Yoshida. He's one year younger than me and is tall, good-looking, and slightly narcissistic. He's okay with his work, but says he's liked by a beautiful boss. It's said that he's promised a promotion in the future. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me! What's so great about that guy? That he's hotter than you, and that he has a promising future? There's lots more, but do you still need to hear? <laughs> no, I'm good. But three months ago? Isn't that cheating? But for me, Ray is my actual boyfriend, and you are the cheating partner. With those terrible words, my two years of love got completely destroyed. Oh, and tomorrow, I'm going to tell people at work that Ray and I are dating. So don't say a single word that we were going out. And I'll thankfully take this. It's lame, so I'll pawn it off and pay for the date tomorrow. So that's your plan for tomorrow. And calling it lame? You're the one who said you wanted it! Oh, I just chose the most expensive bag that even you could pay for and said I wanted it. That can't be! Bye! And so, that's how I broke up with my girlfriend who I dated for two years. Thinking about it, she probably kept our relationship quiet since she was going to break up with me to begin with. Not because it was going to interfere with work. Then, I began to fill my life with work even more. Up until now, I'd refuse promotion since my responsibilities would increase, and I would have less time for myself. But now, since I had nothing to do besides work, I accepted it. As a result, I began to work overtime much more. But the number of junior colleagues for the project also increased. So in about three months, I was busy enough to forget about my broken heart. Well, Mio and Yoshida are flirting with each other at work, so I sometimes remember about the past. But forget about those couples. Right now, I have another problem. Senpai, let's eat lunch together. No thanks. I don't need any troublesome rumors to start. So, the reason of my new problem is this girl in front of me. Reno Ida. She's three years younger than me, and although she's in her second year of working, she's extremely skilled and helps me out a lot when we're working on the same project. But because of her cute looks, she stands out a lot. And since she has a very small personal space and is very touchy, we are rumored to be dating. I don't know what to think about this. No one rumored about Mio and I when we were indeed actually dating. You don't have to worry about rumors. And plus, I stand out a lot, but you don't, so it's evened out. What? I don't get that at all. Let's go already! The seats are gonna get filled! I was swayed by Ada's words every time, so by the time I realized it, it became my daily routine to eat lunch with her every day. By the way, does Senpai have a girlfriend? Why so sudden? Nothing, I was just curious. Since you seem worried about a rumor going around, I thought you'd have one. No, I don't. Well, for now, though. Oh, I see. As I figured, you already broke up with Sagami Senpai. Huh? Oh, was I right? From my guess, you guys probably broke up three months ago? How do you know that? I thought no one knew about this at work. Oh, true. Sagami Senpai does seem like she's good at this. But Senpai, you're bad at hiding this, so it's obvious for me. Really? I thought I was pretty good at hiding it. Not at all. You seemed happy when you were headed towards the clerks, and you were looking at Sagami-san during work, too. Oh, shoot. I didn't even realize. We didn't have any connections then. I'm surprised you saw through that. Well, you're that easy to read. I see. Aside from that, are you recovered from your heartbreak? Yep. 
thanks to my work. I had no time to think about that in the past three months. Oh, and don't say anything about my past relationship with Sagami. I promised her, so... You're the victim, though. Are you fine with that? Yeah, and for me, too. I don't want to deal with her again. I see. So now you have time to be worrying about our relationship, then. Why does it become like that? Plus, we don't have anything going on between us. Yes, for now. What do you mean, now? Maybe we should start dating since there's rumor going around already. Don't joke around. And even if you're fine with it, I'm not. <laughs> Why? I don't want to date someone in the same company. And right now, work's busy too. Mm, work is busy, but we have weekends. What have you been doing on your weekends after you broke up? Things like cooking, cleaning, and watching videos, I guess. That's pretty boring. Leave me alone. It's pretty relaxing, though. What about you, then? I hang out with friends, cook, and watch movies at home, I guess. Not that much different from me. Well, I don't have a lover, so it ends up being similar, I guess. You don't have a boyfriend? Was it unexpected? You're cute, so I thought you did. Well, I don't deny that I'm cute to have a good body figure and friendly, but I don't have a boyfriend. I didn't say that much. It should be fine since it's the truth. That part of your personality, it sure is something. I'll take that as a compliment. But if you don't have anyone you're dating and if you're free on the weekends, we should go somewhere together. If you miss this opportunity, you might never have a chance to date such a cute girl again. I don't really need it. You're so boring. Let's hang out together. I want to visit the aquarium that recently opened. No way. Plan on making me pay, right? <laughs> you figure it out. And for the next one month, Ada tried to invite me to hang out at every opportunity. Senpai, let's go to the movies together. Would you rather want romantic comedy or romance? Neither. The options are so limited. Why will you go eat lunch with me but not hang on the weekends? Since it's like a date. I don't want to see people from work on the weekends. It's bad because I'm your co-worker? Well, yeah. Oh, I got it. You're probably thinking of something bad. Not at all. Let's go on a mixer. Huh? Why? It's because although I was thinking about comforting you after a breakup, you don't want to hang out with people from work. I said I'm over it already. It's been four months. And why a mixer? Senpai... You don't like office romance, right? So I thought maybe I can introduce you to a normal cute girl. And our work has been getting easier recently, too. Isn't it a good time to move forward? Well, that is true. If you're just waiting, you won't get a girlfriend, so we'd have to go look for one. So afterwards, Ada aggressively set up a mixer for me. In the end, I'm meeting up with you on the weekend. Don't worry about the details. Anyways... You look nice today. Oh, I thought I should try looking my best for occasions like these. You look pretty good. Thanks. Come to think of it, you said the girls are going to be your friends, but which guys are coming? Mr. Ukyo and Mr. Sakyo. Oof. Them. I invited them so that you won't be too nervous. They're your colleagues and your good friends, so isn't it good? Yeah, but they're going to tease me later for sure. Let's send her and wait for them there. They'll probably come soon. I'm Ida, who made a reservation for today. Miss Ida? Please take a seat in the back over there. However, it was already ten minutes past the promised time, but no one came. No one's coming. T true Now let's try calling them. Huh? Ada, try calling your friends too. Okay. Hey, Ukio, hurry up and come to the mixer. Huh? Isn't the mixer next week? It's today. Sorry, I'm out today, so I can't make it. I called Sakio, but he said the exact same thing. Ukio and Sakio both said they thought it was next week. Sorry, it seems that I told the other four people the wrong date. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sorry. I'll call the waitress. Huh? Do you plan on going home? Sorry for the wait. 
Sorry, we reserved the table for six, but it seems it'll just be the two of us. Us two plan on dining here, but should we change seats? And how much will the cancellation fee be? Since there is no reservation for food, there is no cancellation fee. And since the store is not too crowded today, you may stay in your seats. Sorry, thank you. No problem, enjoy your stay. I thought you are going to leave because you're mad. Why would I? I was surprised that you told him the wrong dates, but I wouldn't get mad at you when you prepared this mixer for me. And plus, I'll feel bad for the restaurant if we left without eating anything. You're nice. Isn't this normal? Uh. After we eat, do you want to go watch a movie or something? She must be feeling down. Senpai, please don't be nice to me anymore. I just thought it's a good idea since we'd have time after we eat. Sorry. The uh, truth is, the whole mixer story was a lie. Huh? What do you mean? Then Ida began to tell her story apologetically. The truth is, the mixer is a lie, and I asked the other four to cooperate with me, so the four people weren't going to come today either way. I was thinking about hanging out somewhere after we ate, but since you're so nice, I felt bad about deceiving you. Oh, I'm totally fine with that, but... What did you want to accomplish by going that far? I wanted to hang out with you, senpai! Huh? For that kind of reason? Yes! I'm gonna say this already, but I really like you, senpai! Oh, really? I thought you were joking when you said we should date. I wouldn't say that as a joke! But you would always change a topic or tell me that you won't date a coworker. So I forcefully invited you to hang out with me. And pause, I would never introduce you to another girl. Oh, I didn't know that. But I don't remember doing things that would make you like me. Senpai, do you remember when we first talked to each other? First? Even before working in the same project group, we probably exchanged greetings when we saw each other at the office. But when was the first time? The first day you started working? Completely wrong. It was one week after I joined, during the welcoming party for newcomers. Oh, that time. As you know, I have both a good personality and a face so many people tried to talk to me. One guy suddenly tried to give me his contact information and I was troubled. But Senpai, you helped me out. At first I thought you'd approach me using that as an excuse, but... You thought of me like that? Sorry. But that wasn't the case, and you did it out of only goodwill, right? Yeah, at that time I had a girlfriend, so I had no intentions like that. Afterwards, I was really happy about your pure kindness, so I began to chase you with my eyes. That's why I realized that you were dating Miss Sagami. Oh, I see. And that's why I've liked Senpai for two years already. After learning that you had a girlfriend, I tried my best to hide my feeling. But after learning that you guys broke up and I was able to be in the same project group as you, I thought it was my chance. But then you'd said things like you won't date your coworkers anymore. S sorry I wanted you to see me as a woman. Regardless of whether I'm from the same company or that I'm your junior colleague. But I'm sorry you some dirty tricks. No, I'm sorry too. Huh? I wasn't able to look at Ada properly because I was still dragging on my past and making excuses like you're my junior colleague. From now on, I'll look at Ada as one woman. Thank you. Let's eat something and go hang out then. Yes, from now on, I'm gonna make you come with me to many places, so be prepared. Yeah, please be gentle with me though. From now on, I'll get over my past completely and enjoy a new relationship with Ada. 30 minutes later... Reno! Great job! <laughs> Thanks! Huh? What do you mean? The friend who helped me out with this mixer was her. Seriously? I knew that only the two of you would be coming so there was no inconvenience for the store. Oh, that's how it was. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. The guys who are nice to the waitresses are attractive. Won't you go out with me and son of Reno? That won't be office romance. True. Senpai? <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
You guys aren't dating yet, but she's already so jealous. N that's because Senpai is mine! I won't let anyone take him! My name is Shun Saiki. I'm a sophomore in high school. The introverted me didn't get along well with those around me, and I was living life as a loner. Everyone seems to be having so much fun. There were various cliques within the classroom. I didn't have the courage to speak to them. I failed at making new friends and I was isolated. After joining high school, I was hoping to make new friends and find a girlfriend, but I had no hope in finding someone. Why am I so weak? As I was walking in the hallway, I found a girl who was messing with her smartphone on the stairs. Miss Ayura is always alone. My classmate, Miko Ayura, looks kind of like a rowdy girl, but I'd never seen her with anyone. I expected her to be loud with all of the other extroverts, but she's always calm in the classroom. Maybe Miss Ayura doesn't have friends? No way! If she didn't have friends, I'd feel like maybe we had some camaraderie, but I couldn't believe someone who looked that good could possibly have no friends. She's definitely in the popular crowd. I'm sure she's loud in places I'm not looking at. What are you looking at? I locked eyes with Ayura. I froze in place after she glared at me. Ayura looked down and pulled her skirt down. You... No! You misunderstand me! I wasn't looking, but I could see how she would think that. I felt danger and ran. I was so worried that she would say something like... I was so worried that she would say something that I was alert. But nothing happened. I thought she'd be one to tell all her friends, and everyone would posse up on me. But nothing happened. Maybe she's not that scary? I always thought she was such a popular girl, so I didn't really want to get close to her. But maybe she's a pretty normal person. Maybe I should try talking to her if she's alone. It's Miss Ayura! She was walking towards me, her face in her phone. I tried talking to her when I realized I didn't have the courage in me. She really did scare me. I need to avoid her, or I'll run into her. However, by looking at Miss Ayura, my body froze up, and the notes that I was holding all fell over! Watch out! Huh? I tried to move to catch the notes, but Ayura was in front of me! I fell over with her! Ow! Dude! I got up and froze! I pushed over Ayura! She was glaring at me, and I could feel the blood leave my face! I was frozen in fear for several seconds! How long are you gonna be on me? I'm sorry! I jumped off as I was pushed off by Miss Ayura's voice! You have courage pushing me over like that. I really didn't mean it. It was just an accident! Ayura was pissed! It was terrifying with how striking she looked! You can do what you want as long as you don't mean it? I'm sorry! You need to take responsibility. Responsibility? Marry me. Marry? Not right now. Propose to me, and then we marry after we graduate. Why would I- You need to take responsibility for your actions. I only ran into you by accident! You pushed me over, fell on top of me, and you're saying you were just playing around? It was an accident! Ah, that's how you get away from it. I will make you pay for what you did to me. She grabbed my shirt and glared at me with cold eyes. I'm sorry, I'll marry you, don't hurt me! I felt in danger, so I submitted. Okay then, thanks. I guess she was happy with my answer. She let go and walked away. I was shocked at the whole ordeal. This is bad. Although it was to protect myself, I promised to marry her. I'm not sure why she thought that was a good idea, but she wasn't exactly in a listening mood. I'll ask her again later. Whatever the case is, talking to her won't help. I think it was good to withdraw once and just go with it. After that, we didn't have a single word with each other. She said she wanted to marry, and yet she didn't seem interested at all. I was hoping to talk to her again, but since she didn't say anything to me, I figured she was just joking. I decided to go home quickly. Wait! When I left the school, I heard a voice call to me from behind. When I turned around, I saw an angry Ayura! Can I help you? How dare you leave your fiancé? You were serious? I see. You thought I was joking? She grabbed my neck! Because you didn't say anything after that! That's where you're supposed to come talk to me! That's all you feel for me? 
I mean, marriage is a pretty big deal. You don't want to marry me that badly? It's not if I like it or don't. I just don't know you well. Then get to know me. I will be living with you from today. Why? We need to get to know each other better. We're going to get married. It's called living under the same roof. I think there are quite a few problems with that. Like what? I think a high school boy and girl living together can create... problems. Like kids? That's not what I meant! That was exactly what I was worried about. But it wasn't like I was going to make the first move. But when she talked to me about that, I just couldn't get past it. I was nervous. <laughs> You're such a nerd. Look at you turning red. Stop messing with me! Ayura had a devilish grin. For once, it wasn't an angry grin, so I was a little less tense. Whatever. You'll let me stay tonight. No problems, right? But my parents are off on a business trip, and it'll just be us. I'm sure you won't be able to calm down either. Nah, I'm okay with it, because I get you all to myself. I'm not going to do such a thing! I don't care, let's go. Ugh! Even if I wanted to say no, I couldn't figure it out! When I try to say something with logic, she would just out-logic me. It seems like she's calm at the moment, so I don't want to do anything to change that. Okay, then. Only for today. I didn't know how serious she was, but maybe she'll get tired of me if she sticks around for a day. I was hoping for that to happen while I spent the day with her. Why are you sitting like that? I'm a little nervous. It was my own room, and yet I was frozen solid. It was my own room, and yet I was frozen solid. I brought her because of how everything turned out, but it was the first time I brought a girl to my room. I see. I'm not sure what she was thinking, but she put her head on my lap. What are you doing? You were waiting for this, right? No, I had no intention. You don't have to be so nervous. I'm just a girl. Would a normal girl ask for my hand in marriage out of the blue? I was also unsure if such a popular girl should say that when she's clearly popular. Is there something you want to say? No, ma'am. Nothing at all. Ayura glared me into submission once again. Give me head rubs. Huh? Y you sure? What? That makes you nervous too? No, not at all. I was a little shy when I started rubbing Ayura's head. It felt good. She's pretty cute, isn't she? I was a little apprehensive about getting close, but the calmer she gets, the more she just seems like a beautiful girl. I could feel my heart beating faster. Hmm. This is pretty nice. Really? You want to try? I'm okay. Seriously. I see. Ayura smirked and grabbed onto me from behind. Ayura, you're too close! Really? Miss Ayura was looking at me with a blank look on her face. I couldn't help but blush with how close she was. You'll never have kids with how shy you get from just hugging. We are not having kids! I tried to run away, but she locked me in place with her knees. Ayura, you're choking me! You're trying to run. Stop! I won't run! She was enjoying playing around with me. Every time I would pull away to try to get away, she would squeeze tighter. I'll make dinner. Because of her messing around with me so much, I wasn't nervous anymore. Maybe that's what she was aiming for. I was able to talk to her like a normal person, and she was going to make dinner for us. This is really good. I didn't know you could cook. That's a little rude. Who do you think I am? I don't imagine you cooking. Wow. Look at you, talking with no filter. Stop! She started pushing my cheeks in, and I could tell I was starting to get used to her. I have to be able to do this if I'm going to get married. You're serious? I have been serious this whole time. What are you backing up for? I see. She talks to me as if it's just another Monday. I'm not sure what has gotten into her and why she's so adamant about this. Why did she suddenly say she wants to marry me? I wanted to ask her, but I also didn't want to rub her the wrong way. Want to go take a shower with me? No! Uh, I know you want to. We're going to shower together if we get married, so why don't we go shower together? Stop messing with me! If you want to come, just come. 
She kept teasing me! I had no intentions of potentially screwing up my whole life by showering with her! Ayura, you sleep here. Why? Let's sleep together! I showed her to the guest room, but Miss Ayura refused. She kept saying that sleeping together is normal. We can't do that! We're not even dating! What's so bad about it if we're not dating? I had no intentions of making a move or anything, but maybe I would lose control if Ayura was sleeping, unconscious, next to me. But if I said that, she would probably tease me again. The bed is kind of small, and I don't think you can sleep well, so... You don't want to let me sleep? You're gonna keep me up all night? No! It turns out, she was going to tease me anyway. You want to marry me, right? If you want, you can have your way with me. No! I was tempted to take her offer, but I had to let her sleep in my bed. How can she sleep like that? She was sleeping quietly right next to me. It almost felt unfair with how relaxed she was and how nervous I was. Is she serious? Although I was with her all day, she didn't seem to grow tired of me. If anything, I started focusing on how I might like her. I don't know anything yet. I need to resist. I turned my back to Ayura and finally fell asleep, holding back all of my urges. We woke up the next morning with nothing too eventful. Miss Ayura made us breakfast and we walked to school together. She stopped teasing me and we both spent the day in our classes alone. I wonder if she really doesn't have any friends. I figured she was having fun with friends when I was looking, but I really couldn't see it. I thought she was an extrovert, but no one spoke to her. When I started heading home alone, Ayura spoke to me. You're gonna leave me again? You're planning on staying over again? Of course! We spent the night together. That's all you feel for me? You're one to talk. As soon as we got to school, you stopped talking to me. How do you really feel about me? I know we coincidentally ran into each other, but I need to know how serious she was about taking responsibility and getting married. Are you upset because I haven't talked to you? If you wanted to give me cuddles, all you had to do was ask. That's not it. I want to know how you really feel. You really want to marry because I ran into you? I didn't let her off that easily. I asked her to give me a serious answer. Her face changed, and she stared back at me as she answered. You seem like you were a pushover, but I'm impressed by how serious you look. Truth be told, I just wanted to use you. I have someone who I'm trying to marry. My parents chose him. I didn't like it, so I was going to find someone else to marry to break it off. I listened to the words, but they made no sense to me. At the same time, I knew that meant she wasn't serious about marrying me. I knew the whole time that was probably the case, but I was still disappointed. Why would you do that? It's got to do with my parents' work. I didn't like that they were using me to get a leg up. I'd always listen to them, but I started rebelling, dyeing my hair. But I guess my engagement plan failed. I guess she only looked like a popular girl. It was all because she wanted to go against her parents. If that's the case, you should have just told me from the get-go. What would you have done if I actually did something with you? <laughs> you don't have the balls. I was using you, so I was going to let you use me to some extent. Something was going too far, I was going to stop you. You don't seem strong anyway. I was a little upset, but she was right. I was probably weaker than her. So we don't need to live together, right? You're just using me as a fake fiancé? You could just use me as a character and not live with me. I felt like I was dumped, so I was sad. But I also felt like I wanted to help her out. At first, I wanted to use you. But now, I actually feel like you're not bad. You're really cute when you're shy, and I like that about you. I wanted to be around you more. Is that okay? So you really like me? I'm not sure yet, but I know I feel good being around you. If that's not how you really feel, don't stay near me because I think I'm falling for you. I probably fell for her because she was around me so much. The only girl to ever talk to a poor introvert like me was her. After she heard me confessing, she looked at me with big eyes. You... you fell for me, didn't you? Oh, come on! Who wouldn't after last night? It was almost like a honeypot, but she grabbed me after she saw me blushing. 
You're seriously cute! It's okay, you can stick on me as much as you want! Stop making me confused! <laughs> it's alright. I'll take full responsibility. I'll protect you. <laughs> You're changing the story! I was supposed to be protecting her, but because I liked her, the tables had turned. Ayura ended up falling for me, and we officially started dating. It's a little odd how we met, sure. But I knew I had to become stronger to handle Miss Ayura's strength. <laughs>